Hello all, how you doing? So, I'm back with my excitedness about this. Right, okay, so I know a lot of people won't have a clue what my last video was about, so I'm gonna try and do it a bit differently again. So, ChatGPT for vision inside of a game. Now, currently, ChatGPT for vision is connected to the, my camera, so it's seeing what I'm seeing, so only the player window that's here. Now, I personally imagine that this can be on an NPC character in a game, a non-player character. So, for example, the game Skyrim. Um, you, are, you play as the Dragonborn. You walk up to a character and say, Hello, uh, where is the dragon? Now, you could probably use your voice in this, right? The character can then do like a series of looks around or can actually see the scene and then say, Oh, the character is over there and it's behind that building or uh, and you do need a bit of modification for the for the description of what it should be responding but the technology is now there as of today so added to it you could have like uh, war combat games you could have anything now i'm just going to let this run and show you what it's seeing this is a, an aztec environment uh, that from another uh, asset pack that i got from unity I just dragged it, dropped it The image it in. shows a 3D rendered scene of what appears to be an ancient temple or ruin, likely inspired by Mesoamerican architecture, such as that found in Aztec or Mayan cultures. The temple is adorned with various ornate carvings and symbols that are styled to resemble the iconography associated with such ancient civilizations. In the center of the temple facade, there is an emblem or seal, which is also in a style suggestive of indigenous Mesoamerican art. In the foreground, a pattern is etched into the ground, which could be interpreted as a decorative or ceremonial design. There are two stone braziers with blue flames on either side of the main temple steps, adding a mystical or magical ambience to the setting. The setting is bathed in a warm light, suggestive of either sunrise or sunset, and the climate appears to be arid, judging by the clear skies and sandy environment, with distant mountains visible at the top of the image. This may be an environment from a video game, a movie, or a conceptual design for some form of entertainment media. The detailed rendering suggests a considerable level of artistic development, often associated with professionally developed digital content. I have to say, I like the scene myself as well. So I can still walk around in the scene and do other stuff, and this is my previous scene that I just dragged and dropped that other one into it. Now, I, have, I should be setting it up next to it so that it runs in real time and that the game doesn't pause when, when I do that, but it's working. And you could use this in so many different ways. So uh, I think I posted something about, uh, imagine you're wearing your, uh, your headset for, uh, on a building site, or you're a surveyor, or you're a policeman, or something like that. The data collected by the vision could be uploaded and made more concise because, you know, drones on, um, but it could give you like specific information. Like for example, earlier on in another video, I was able to get it to read the, the speed sign here. Now that could be covered in dirt and it would just say, hey, this sign is covered in dirt, but it says 25 kilometers an hour or 25 miles per hour, depending on what you're looking at. It correctly discerned that this was like a, a container with water in it and that there was a traffic cone and it knew it was in a computer environment with a backdrop. This is amazing, and I love it, and I cannot wait to apply it to something else if I can keep myself focused on doing one project at a time, which I can't, and I don't have enough time during the day. Um, but either way, this is fantastic. I absolutely love it, and I think that you will too once you get, get a try of using something similar. I put the code up on um, GitHub. I'll try and link it in this video. Uh, you'll have to get your own um, API key and uh, it'll actually run pretty cheap because of the announcement today where everything got three times cheaper. So um, best of luck. I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, uh, I love this. Thank you.